Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, so, last time we finished off the last of the side stuff that we could do as a kid. And we're now an adult. We're now a proper adult. Uh, by, by adult I mean 17. Uh, <laughs> um, so, in this part basically, uh, we have got some side stuff to do. <laughs> more side stuff. There's a lot of side shit to do in Ocarina of Time. Um, we've got more shi <laughs> shide. We've got more side shit to do um, before we head off to do the first... what you could call the first proper dungeon of the game. Because like, the dungeons for the when you're a kid are kind of just tutorial dungeons. Kind of get you used to what you're going to have to do. Um... So, yeah, we've got the first dungeon to go through, the forest temple. But, side stuff first. And we're starting off with Lon Lon Ranch. So, first off, we've, uh, we can talk to Marin, I think, is in here. Yeah. Oh, and she's grown up. Damn. <laughs> uh... Since Ganondorf came, people in the castle town have gone. Places have been ruined and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. So, yeah. Basically, at this point, the evil brother of uh, the of Marin's dad here um, basically uh, has been given the control of the ranch by, um, uh, by Ganondorf. Uh, and... Basically, he's an evil piece of shit. <laughs> he basically is just trying to use the ranch to get Ganondorf's favor. Um, so, yeah, we pretty much have to put him in his place. <laughs> look at that. Look at that evil prick. Um, so, uh, we, this side quest that we're doing now is uh, uh, we're using the... Uh, we're going to be using the... Ocarina to get thingamajiggy to get uh, Epona, our, our beautiful horse, so that we can, so it makes it easier to go around the um, the overworld. Uh, you can only use Epona during when you're an adult. So no, I don't need. Fuck off. <laughs> so yeah, pay him ten rupees and he'll shove you in the pen. And you've got a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to get... I need to... I can't remember. <laughs> what's the, what's the bonus song again? Uh, 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 there we go. Up left right, up left right. Right, let's go. Wow, that took me a while. So there we go. And that brings over Epona to us. Although, yeah, I can see Epona anyway. Hi, buddy. Let me get on your back. Thank you, buddy. Now, uh, yeah. Uh, Epona's basically the quickest um, horse in the game, basically. Uh, all the other... Ho you can use the other horses, I think, for this section. But uh, Epona's the only one that you can use outside of the ranch. Uh, so what I'm basically doing here is that... Um, there you go. Basically, if you jump over all of the... Uh, all of the... Um, walls that are set up here. Kind of the obstacles that are inside. You get, uh, get given rupees. I think it's 20 rupees. So, yeah, you earn a little bit of money for it. But the main thing we've got to do is we've got to challenge this prick. So the first thing we've got to do is he's going to do a uh, place a wager on us. And so... It's time for us to... So now we've got to race him around the track. Around the outside of the pen. Uh, the first race is actually fairly straightforward. Make sure you don't use up all of your, um... 
the carrots here, your accelerations all in one go, and basically just hug the inside. Stay as close to the um, the metal fence there as humanly possible, and you'll be just fine, nice and easy. So we beat him, and now he's kind of going nuts. You can keep the horse. So yeah, now he challenges us again. This one is slightly more difficult just because he's a bit more aggressive and he also um, is also um, trying to keep the inside line a lot more. However, if you just stay in front of him and keep using your um, thingamajigs, your accelerations, Keep some spare accelerations for the end of the race, and you'll be pretty. And it was pretty easy to defeat him. Yeah, so now he's losing his shit. Th I actually like this animation here. It's gonna come up in a minute. Hang on. <laughs> Shoot, where is it? <laughs> I kind of like that. I kind of like that he's losing his shit, and then he just immediately goes to smug prick face, which I kind of like. So yeah, he's like, I'm never letting you leave this ranch. Fuck you. You can keep the horse, but you can't leave the ranch. <sighs> Pono, is there any way we can get out of here? Yeah, run at full pace towards this wall, and yeah, you jump straight over. And we're free. And with that, we've got a Pono, which makes travelling around the overworld, particularly in the... Uh, when you're an adult, it makes traveling around the overworld much, much faster. Now, before we move on, we've got one more thing that we can do. So, yeah, Ingo's now uh, had his face kicked in, and his brother is now back in charge of the ranch, along with Marin. And Marin is quite happy, singing away. So, basically, at this point, what she wants you... Basically, you have one more little side thing that you can, we can do here. And now she recognizes us. She's the fairy boy. Recognizes us the fairy boy from the forest. And Epona remembers you, remember, remembered you as well. Is it really upset? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Has he always been nice? Um... But yeah, so Marin and her father are now back in control of the ranch. So, talk to Marin uh, while you're uh, riding Epona. Come to me, Epona. Why are you in there? <sighs> Fucking hell. So yeah, get on. There you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, the horse can be... Uh, it's kind of difficult to control at short, uh, like, low speed, to be honest. When you're just running at pace through places, then it's fine. But when you're trying to go, like, through tight corners or whatever, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So, okay. So, now you've got the obstacle course. So, basically... Uh, Talk to Marin while you're on the ben while you're on Epona, and you can do the quest. Basically, you have to beat 50 seconds. You've got two laps to go through and uh, 50 seconds to complete it in. Uh, 50 seconds or less. Um, go. Uh, but this time you've got these uh, fences in the way to jump over. It basically means, uh, for the little ones it's fine, but for the bigger ones like these, you have to get your pace going. So you have to measure the, you know, work out the best time to use the acceleration to get yourself up to top speed. So yeah, I'm uh, running a little bit low. So yeah, you have to beat it within, uh, yeah, like I said, under 30, 50 seconds. Oh, see, I'm kind of, oh. God, I'm going all weird now. Jump. But again, you should be able to do it as long as you keep as you as long as you don't hit any of the fences. And also, oh, one second. 
also staying tight to the inside line is also going to make things a lot easier. And we set the new course record, and for that we get... Oh, right, I, right, 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 I remember now. So, what you get for completing this race is... You get a cow. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pona won't go into any of these areas. She's only basically over the main overworld here. So... Yeah, kind of a pain in the bum. <sighs> anyway. Uh, so what we need to do... So if we go back to... Ow, you bitch! Yeah, now there's a load of uh, enemies here that we have to deal with. Or avoid, at the very least. So we're going to go to our house. And I've gone past it. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Alright, up we go. And you fucking asshole. Yeah, fucking die. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> so now... For God's... Climb! <laughs> fucking hell. So yeah, once we go to our house... You'll see... That, yeah, fucking hell. We've now got a cow in our house. Basically means we can get... Um, lon Lon milk whenever the hell we want. Basically means that we can get... Uh, milk at any time, which is a really good health restoring potion. Um, so yeah, that's why it is worth going after, just because you then you got you don't have to keep spending money on potions and stuff. You can, as long as you've got an empty bottle, you can just like fill them with the Lon Lon milk, and you've got a really good ha healing item, which also gives you like two shots as well. Uh, one bottle is uh, uh, you know two portions basically so okay now we're back in Kakariko village uh, and I think uh, what we're doing first is yes we're going to uh, the graveyard first so in the graveyard we're going up to the top here ah yeah and uh, now pose for, uh, are now in the area. So the bead seedlings have now fully grown up. So, get our next heart heart piece here. Still need another two to get another lot, but hey, at least we restore our health. So, this is the introduction to Pose. Um, ghost type enemies which are a bit of a pain in the ass to fight, really. Um, it's all about just, you know, they go invisible, wait until they go invisible, and kill them, they go down in a couple of hits. And they drop um, pose souls, which basically you can put into... You can put into into um, glass jars, you can put them into, uh, into glass bottles, uh, and you can basically sell them... <laughs> to a, a particular vendor in town, in the main castle town, I think. Uh, and basically, once you've done that, it, and you can get a good amount of money for them as well. So, if you want to do that, I guess. Okay, so this is... Ow, fuck you. So... Uh, this is Dampe the Gravekeeper. His spirit, which is kind of sad, I guess, that, you know, he's fucking died. Uh, basically, he wants you to keep following him. So, yeah, keep following him. And at the end of it, you'll get a re uh, one of the... Uh, uh, one of the more awesome pieces of equipment. Ow! Piece of shit. Yep. So you basically have to just have to stay close to him, uh, so that you know the doors don't close be like behind because the door closes behind him. Um, so you want to be able to get through. So yeah, now we've got to go up this way. 
And up we go. Uh, you got a little bit of time before the door closes. And boom. Talk to him. One minute ten. You are very quick to be able to keep up with me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm going to give you my treasure. And yes, baby, we get the hook shot. So useful. Now, uh, there is a second one you can do against him, which I think gives you... Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it gives you the long shot, which is basically like a... a, a which is basically like a improved version of the hook shot, which uh, has a um, longer distance to it. Um, but that that is so much fucking harder to do. I can't remember whether I did it or not. Um, so, but yeah. Hook shot's fine. Yeah, I know. Can we move on? Thank you. So yeah, now we've got a we've got a block in the way. So we've got to use the uh, we've got to use I think it's the song of time here. Yeah, right a down. <clears throat> yeah, I'm also gonna yeah let's of course I'm gonna equip the hook shot. Why not? So yeah, so yeah, play the song of time. And that gets rid of the block. Allowing you to exit. There we go. By the way, this is also a little bit of a this is also a little bit of a clue for what you're supposed to do in um the other dungeon. In the first dungeon. Because they have these blocks in the Forest Temple as well. So this chucks us out to here. This is the uh, the windmill. So whoop. Jump. And in here, we can get another heart piece. Boop. Thank you, buddy. And that's another piece of heart. I need one more to get a new um, heart container. Right. So, we're kind of done here. Well, almost. First of all, we've got to talk to this prick. Hi, buddy. You still playing your song? I don't know why that's on top of him. It's like, <laughs> it looks weird, but whatever. So, so yeah. Get the ocarina out for him, uh, and he will tell you, he teach you a new song. But it's kind of interesting, because basically, uh, he was taught seven years ago by a kid with an ocarina. Uh, and taught this song. Uh... Which is the Song of Storms, I believe. Which is a song we're going to need for another part later in the game when we have to go back uh, into the past. But yeah, basically, we haven't done it yet. <laughs> but we teach him this song in the past, and now he's teaching us in the future so that we can teach him in the past. Time travel's bullshit. <laughs> uh, but we now know the Song of Storms. And yeah, so it makes it rain, basically. And I believe it only has one use. <laughs> a grand total one use for that si for that um, quest later on in the game. But yeah, we're not going to do anything with that now. So now we want to hookshot over to this roof. There we go. Take the shot. We now we're here. This is actually one you could get earlier by jumping sideways off that ramp, off that uh, off that tall tower as a kid. But this is how you're supposed to actually do it. Talk to him, and he gives you a heart piece. Which gives us a heart container, and we're now onto the second row. Nice. Uh, so I think before we leave, what are we doing? Oh, right. Um, I think we've got some gold sculptures to collect. So, we're going to hook shot over to this roof, over here. Uh, and then we're going to hook shot over to this roof here. Nope. 
I tried this for a little bit. Oh. Nope. There. There you go, buddy. So, go over here and boom. There is our gold skull chiller. And we can, and yeah, you can use the hook shot to collect them in the same way that you can use the boomerang to collect gold skull chiller tokens. So, okay. More, still got, we've still got more shit to do. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of side quest stuff in this fucking game now. So, next we are going to be, oh, okay, I remember what we're doing, what we're doing now. So, we are going to what used to be the, uh, the Hyrule, the Royal Family Castle, which has been replaced by Ganon, by Ganon's Lair. Ganon's Castle, which I have to say, even now, I think even now it looks pretty cool and imposing. So, we're pretty much here just for one thing. <laughs> Uh, for a couple of things, and then we're kind of fucking off again. So, head over to here. Turn around. And there's a gold sculpture just hanging out on this um, knackered rampart. So, shoot him. And collect it. And boom. I think that's it. Yeah, we're done here. <laughs> Let's move on. So now we're moving back to, uh, this is the Kakiri Forest. Um, right, where are we going? Oh, okay. Yes, so, go to this tr place in the corner, and there's another gold sculpture that we can get at night. Yeah, lock onto it. Boom. And there we go. We're almost done with the gold sculpture stuff because I'm only getting up to 50. I'll explain that once we actually uh, have collected all 50 of the, um, uh, basically, once we've got the 50 gold sculptures. Um, so, I think we're all done with side quest stuff now. Uh, yes, I believe so. So, time for us to head to the um, first dungeon. We're heading to the uh, Forest Temple, uh, which is within the Lost Woods. Actually, we kind of already seen this already, because when we were a kid, we headed to this place where um, Saria was, where we learnt um, Saria's song. Um, that is exactly the same place that uh, where the castle uh, where the um where the forest uh, thing is where the forest temple is sacred forest meadow yeah okay this part here is a bit of a pain but here we go yeah no, fucking healthy no it's <laughs> navi <laughs> well they are annoying bitches uh <laughs> So basically we've got one, we've got these dudes here, these basically guards that are in place now to stop us from getting to the, the area. So, but we need to get through, so wait for him, go past, yeah, this is me thinking, oh, can I kill him? The answer is no, you basically have to wait for them to go past. And get behind them and then kind of run up oh. yeah fuck you there we go managed to get through that uh, yeah because they just like sprint to for towards you at full pelt ow and <laughs> impale you with their spear so yeah Oh, fuck you. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just trying to fuck you. I hate you. I hate you so much. 
There we go. Avoid him. Then go here. Through. Ow! <laughs> that just surprised me so much that I paused. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I'm, this is the right... I'm going the wrong way. Right, no, there you go, Tom. You can do it. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can collect some rupees here, so that's pretty helpful. Ugh. Yeah, we've got one more of these bastards to deal with. Oh, actually, we've got two to deal with. Ow! Fuck you. <laughs> you suck. Yeah, I think I was hoping here that I could climb up that way, but nope. You have to climb up the ladder. Go on. Run for the ladder. There we go. Now run for the ladder. Go for the ladder. Go for it. Oh, thank fuck. So now we get up the top here, and... There is a gold skull chiller up there. So, yeah. Hi, Goldie. Come here, buddy. Oh, no. I'm too far away. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Thank you. Oops, nope. There we go. And another gold sculpture. Nice. Proving you destroyed it. Thank you. Uh, okay, so... No. Why would I want to do that? There we go. Yeah, now we've got this guy to deal with. Basically, he smacks the ground with his club and sends a shockwave towards you. And you have to basically kill him. There we go. Goes down in three hits, but he's a bit of a pain. God, I really could have done with some hearts there, buddy. But anyway, he's done and he's out of the way. So here we are now, finally. Outside the entrance... For the first dungeon, the Forest Temple. But before we do go into the Forest Temple, we've got something to take care of. Here's Sheik once again. Hi, Sheik. I do really like Sheik's theme. It's a very nice and uh, calming piece of music. Time is a memory of younger days. Okay, <laughs> sure. So, yes. Sheik is now going to teach us the Minue of the Forest. Uh, and there is one of these that you have to learn for each of the dungeons, I think, from what I remember. Um, basically, the Minue of the Forest is used uh, to basically fast travel uh, to this place just outside. They're basically songs which are used to allow you to warp immediately um, to the uh, just outside uh, each of the dungeons. Um, it's basically used in case you miss a chest or something, you need to come back and get it. Or in case you need to grind for money for whatever reason. Because the I think the you can, you know, find more money that way by going to the dungeons. So yeah, hook shot to this tree, and we can enter. But that's not going to be till next part. So join me next time for the next part of um, Ocarina of Time, when we will be heading into the uh, Forest Temple. Uh... And we will be trying to complete the first dungeon. So yeah, see you next time.